Hello everyone, today in series of Docplex's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Mohan T. Shenoy, who is a renowned and skilled endocrinologist. So today the topic of interview would be hepatic aspects of diabetes management. Thank you for your valuable time, sir. So doctor, I would like to know what is the role of oxidative stress and inflammation in mechanism of diabetes induced liver damage? Thank you Docplex's for giving me this opportunity. So diabetes, type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease. Chronic liver disease is also a very challenging disease by itself. So the pathophysiology of diabetes has evolved across the last few years. Nowadays we are getting to know that inflammation is a key part of the diabetic pathway as well. So liver is the major site of glucose handling, fat metabolism, drug handling, toxin handling. So all these induce a lot of oxidative stress in the body. Free radical damage can ensue in the long run. So as we know, chronic hyperglycemia is a risk factor for complications. So liver plays a crucial role in metabolizing all these important aspects. So uh, through this, we have understood that there are many new markers coming up for the diagnosis and treatment pathology has become very interesting nowadays. Okay. So uh, type 2 diabetes can occur in the long term and can induce all these complications like non-alcoholic liver disease and free fatty acid damage can cause hepatic steatosis. Hepatic steatosis can in turn lead to insulin signaling pathway hampered. So finally the end result would be very chronic disease both of which are a deadly duo. So that is why we are understanding that anti-inflammatory drugs like chloroquine can be useful in pathophysiological management of type 2 diabetes. Okay, so doctor, why the management of diabetes with chronic liver disease is challenging? Any particular case you would like to share with us? Yeah, so I have done my research on hepatitis C induced liver disease and diabetes. We know that hepatitis C is a chronic disease and has now known to be a systemic cause also. So the systemic cause in that the metabolic steatosis caused by the diabetes past and viral itself can cause all these changes as well. So directly acting uh, mechanism has been described in hepatitis C genotype 3. So this is an important aspect in which we are getting to know that treatment of hepatitis C can have a cure in diabetes as well. So this patient of mine, a 38 year old lady, an obese boy lady and uh, she was found to have diabetes new onset and uh, on workup for the uh, diabetes and obesity found to have a hepatitis C virus. So further workup of her, she was well decent, there was no hepatic encephalopathic changes. She was well managed and finally what she was needing was a combination of antiviral drugs and a, a cocktail of medicines and only a small dose of metformin. So her workup was proceeded and we were able to identify that some inflammatory markers like vaspin, fibronectin mediate the hepatic damage and diabetes could be well controlled and she is now a very uh, healthy enough to manage her lifestyle. So this case taught me that hepatitis C is a systemic disease just like diabetes itself and the management of hepatitis C is just done by the gastro but we have to be diabetologists and endocrinologists have each equal role to play in controlling the complications because inflammatory damage can lead to insulin resistance. So insulin resistance can require a lot of dose of other drugs. So by giving the proper treatment accurately, we can prevent the long-term morbidity. Okay, so that was really a very well example and a case study about the relation of hepatic aspects of diabetes management. So sir, I would like to know what are the dose modification strategies for oral anti-diabetic agents in chronic liver disease? So this question, because we know that the challenge lies in managing a patient having both diabetes and liver disease. So liver disease, because liver is the major site of glucose metabolism in the fasting state and insulin action in the postprandial state. So oral antihypoglycemic drugs can have a potential of causing hypoglycemia. So we don't know then the patient is not having a proper diet, patient has lot of vomiting and tiredness, we can document that liver disease can be a challenging itself. So the way liver is managed is also crucial in managing the diabetes. 
So oral hypoglycemic drugs, this aspect was made out by a consensus statement in 2017 by Indian Journal of Endocrinology Metabolism and this vividly highlighted the role of uh, adjusting the dose like metformin, all these uh, sulfonylureas and the usually used drugs, they have to be given a dose adjustment and some drugs have to be completely stopped in child C and child B once the decompensation is started. Decompensation means liver failure, hepatic encephalopathy and even they grow for the complications. So hypoglycemia is a most important complication dreaded in diabetes as well as in liver disease. So by adjusting the dose of oral hypoglycemic drugs, we will improve the quality of life. Okay, so how would insulin therapy will be beneficial in these cases? So insulin therapy is a mainstay. It is an anabolic hormone. Insulin acts through every part of the body and insulin dose can be adjusted according to the needs of the patient. Nowadays we are getting designer insulins, newly diagnosed insulin which can be given just as analog problem. So, so di insulin therapy has benefited uh, the lives of chronic liver disease because the patient gets a choice to adjust their type of diabetes. And uh, the more important aspect is that liver and insulin, they are the most synergistic action. They are made for each other. So the insulin action can be benefited by properly managing the diabetes. Okay. So sir, any key message you would like to share with our Doplexus community of doctors? Yeah, this is a good venture and uh, the diabetes and uh, endocrinology really require such ventures from our end. And the uh, Doplexus community is a huge community and uh, we get to know that there are a lot of challenging cases discussed day to day. And uh, with a lot of advent of uh, technology, we can see that it is a very easy to get through the message to the crowd. So even the patients who come across may have a highlight because all these things are relayed through the social media. So social media has good effects as well as a bad effect, but we should highlight that it has benefited a lot of patients. So by using technology like this, we will be able to tell that for sure that we can cure diabetes and maybe we can get rid of the complications by properly adjusting their doses. Okay. Thank you, doctor, for being on our platform. Thank you.